be honest guys, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's throwing a beat up disc and a hyzer flip to flat and making her look pretty. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh my God, that was beautiful. There's three keys to disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. We need all three to do this disc sport. What is up guys? I hope you watched the front half of this video where I announced my partnership with Finish Line Discs. This back 10 here, we're just gonna be tossing some Frisbees, a little casual toss. We're out here at Patty Canyon Disc Golf Course. Beautiful little track so far, really enjoying it. Cannot see the basket. I just let a guy play through and it kind of looked like it's pretty much just like a hyzer through these woods. I'm gonna go Banana Club Buzz SS here. Ah, Hutch Cafe on the back 10. Yeah, I feel like that'll be really good. We'll see. Absolute rookie move. Guys, this hole is dead straight. I thought it was a hyzer. I walked 50 feet down the fairway. It's nowhere near where I threw my discs. All right, pace is pin high, but I'm like 100 feet right. Swing back. Guys, this is like beautiful back here. I don't think the course goes back there at all, but holy shit. Wow, this is a nice little line right here. We got a new Firebird out of the used bin, obviously. We're gonna see how it holds a nice, nice straight shot here. Yeah, jump in. Oh, we're gonna try the torque on a little flex line. Yeah, skip in. Hit the lock. <laughs> so torque versus FD1, definitely coming soon. I think those two discs, three, those two discs are like two of the discs that have kind of been missing in my bag. It's really hard, I feel like, to find good overstable eagles. And it's really hard to find like Firebird style discs that fly how you want these discs to fly where they push forward, but they have enough torque resistance and stability to kind of like hold those flex lines but they actually get, you know, the distance of a fairway drive. And you guys have probably heard about how much I've loved the FD1. Like lately I've thrown the shit out of it. It's one of my new favorite discs and the torque, I think fits that same exact category. I'm definitely gonna have to film a video where I kind of like compare the two. One of my favorite shots to learn right now is that like pullover flex shot. Nice. because as you guys know, I'm not very good at Anheuser. So learning that committed flex line is something I've really tried to work on lately. And with that stable to overstable fairway, I've really like found success with that shot. Nice. Ah, oh, broad. Been forcing myself to like tap in the comebackers lately, even on the second putt, miss putt. So obviously I need to get back on that putting grind. For someone like me who's very, very confident in their ability to put the Frisbee close, making those 20, 15 foot, like either comebackers or birdie putts is what's gonna like gain me the most strokes. So those short like comebackers, I can't be taken for granted. I gotta make sure that I have those down. All right, so this hole looks actually like a perfect kind of like flex line shot. I could obviously just go like big forehand, but I'm gonna throw the FD1 in the torque. Also this FD1 I have had in the bag for a few months now and it gets a pretty good amount of use. So it's definitely gonna be less stable than these brand new torques, but still so good. Oh, I, I also forget that I'm at elevation every time. Every disc seems to just be fading out a touch more at the end. Oh, that's the line, beauty. Hold it. Dang. Nice pot. Guys, this elevation, I'm like out of shape. Like it's hard to like keep your breath. <laughs> nice pot. Let's go. So that style of shot, like that flex style is one of the shots I think has come a long way in my game recently, mainly due to the FD1 because I feel like I've never quite had a disc that I just really trusted on that line. That wasn't like a Firebird where it's gonna really like skip out at the end. Like you wanna hit that flex line, 
kind of push forward and they just have a nice like smooth fade back. So I think the FD1 and the Torque are gonna be discs that are in the bag for like those style shots, obviously good for spike hyzers as well. I like them for kind of like stall forehand shots as well. Gonna be fun to kind of like compete with those two over the next you know few weeks or month or whatever. Just a little short chipper. I could probably throw the pace, but I'm gonna give this brand new Huck Lab Birdie Ultra a little go. Nice, super flat one. The Huck Lab stamps, guys, oh God, so clean. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna try a pace as well. This is probably like what my play would be. A little too much height and hyzer for this slight pushing wind. Guys, if you're a Missoula local and you watch the content, send me a DM on IG. Let's get out for a round. Darn. Darn. This looks like a beauty of a hole. What do we got for distance? It says it's only 327. That seems longer. Brand new Banana Club Buzz SS in for kind of our more stable guy. I haven't really thrown the Buzz SS at elevation, so I'm kind of unsure on the foot points. It doesn't matter really when you throw it like ass. Oh, that just hit a tree, please. It parked. <laughs> Buzz SS for the Peach job. Really excited to come out to this course again and like play it not blind and actually lay down a little scoring round because it's a fun course. Like it, it has a lot of birdie opportunities, but there's also some danger with the trees. Like you got to throw some clean lines. Dead straight. We're going to try and throw a couple ace runs with the flat firebird forehand shot. Oh. oh. Yeah. Skip up. Ah, a little deep. I'm gonna throw a couple flexors with the torque. Jump up. There it is. Oh no, it just faded out. So that new used bin Firebird that I got definitely seems like very similar stability to my yellow Firebird, but just a touch more fade at the end, which is kind of what I've been looking for because I'm not a huge fan of like beefy Firebirds. I kind of like the beat up ones that work a little bit more, but they're very hard to find and they take years to beat into that point with a lot of throws on them. And for me, I don't throw stable Firebirds, so it's hard for me to beat in Firebirds. So I have to like find them in use bins. Guys, I'd be lying if I said this elevation doesn't like absolutely just dick me. Oh, talk to you later. Wow, nice pot. There it is. So I played this one yesterday, so I saw this one. We're just gonna smash a destroyer here. Ah, oh, this is a tricky hole. I kind of wish there was like an actual line because I, I really feel like it's throw your disc as hard as you can and hope you get through some trees and the odds are very, very low. I don't think you're ever gonna get here. I think it would be one of the luckiest shots you could ever throw to get through all these trees to actually get the two. We're gonna go ultra. That was so bad. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go Firebird. Oh, not a very good shot. We'll try and hit a little C2 banger here. Oh, I like that. Ultra. A little too short. Yep. What? Bang. Oh, there it is. 371, I think it said. We're gonna go DX Eagle. To be honest, I think this is gonna go deep, but I just wanna throw this and see how it's flying at elevation right now. Straight into the fucking tree. Ow! We're gonna try the torque here. A little flex line. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go in. Oh. Just catch on those chains. 
<laughs> Good adjustment. Not the prettiest putt, but it's in. So another thing that I feel like I've learned recently about my putt is that, like I've said earlier in this video, where if you just worry about following through your hand to, you know, either the top of the pole or the band or the top of the basket, you don't have to worry as much about like the spin. Like I used to think about like, okay, I got to wrap it around this tree. So all I'm thinking about is like flicking my wrist on an ante where my body knows it wants to put it on an ante. So worry about literally just like extending to the pole and then it'll actually go in. And so that's why I feel like that adjustment there, the first one, I felt like it was a good, good bid. It had solid chains, just a little left. And then the second one, I just had like follow through to like the center right side of the basket and let it just get to the chains. Obviously I don't want all my videos to just be revolving around either like sucking at putting or figuring out how to putt. But I feel like as a bad putter, when you're figuring something out that like works well, for you and you can share that with other people out there who might not be very confident in putting sometimes those tips i feel like actually translate better to the people that are more on your same level rather than a good putter teaching you how to putt well they might have just naturally been a good putter they didn't have to like work through those those kinks or those mindset shifts to like figure it out they're just like yeah follow through like extend have good form well yeah but like there's more to putting than that. And I think we all know that. So I think me being able to like develop my putt and find things that are working for me and then sharing them with you, I feel like potentially they could translate a little better to some of you guys who are struggling with the putt. All right, hole 18, downhill, beauty of a shot. We're gonna go JJP2, flip it up on a hyzer. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh my God, that was beautiful. This week I'm gonna be finalizing the newest like Frisbee club apparel drop, new designs, new like colors, new, you know, new stuff. And uh, I think it'll be pretty sweet. Let me know down below when you think a fall drop should be like, you know, some, maybe some crew neck, some long sleeves, some stuff like that. Let me know, is it too early right now? Should I wait a little bit? When do you think? Also, what would you guys like to see for apparel? Uh, let me know down below. Nice. Gross. Try and bang this torque putt as well. Just a little bit deeper. Yup. God. I love putting. It's very fun when you're in that stage of putting where I'm still not perfect. You know, I'm still missing some putts, but I'm at least like confident in all the putts. Like I really feel like they're all going in. Like I have a confidence when I step up to them. Like usually when I step up to these, you know, 35 footers, I'm like, oh shit, like here we go again. But now I'm just like, line them up fall through give them that air like seeing the putter in the air now doesn't like scare me as much it actually i'm like excited about it which is nice well guys that's going to do it for today's video that was patty canyon disc golf course saw a little track i'm excited to get back out here and play it like now that it's not blind because i really enjoyed this course i feel like it has a lot of good birdie opportunities if you're hitting your lines but it can also you know kick you off in the fairway and make for some some bad holes i guess so definitely a solid little track not like super super challenging so i'd still expect to shoot like a pretty hot round out here but thanks for watching you guys uh we will see you in the next one. Guys, this is what I meant when I said the Frisbee Club stamp comes out like shit sometimes. Look at that. The blue one looks nice though.